Hello, welcome to this tutorial for a recurrent complex. Uh, this mod allows a few things that save my day today. Uh, sorry for hitting the mic. Uh, anyways, like I said, it saved my uh, yeah saved my day. Uh, today I added Ars Medica 2 back uh, to my mod, even though it's not fully updated for Minecraft 1.7.10. Anyways, I wanted to start a new world, but take everything I had with me to that new world. So I decided I'll move it with MC Edit. That did not work out. Like when I was trying to load the world, it would just crash. Like, and I could not figure out what it uh, was causing. So I asked on the forums, the VTB Beast forums to another mod if they knew uh, what type of mod this could do. So eventually uh, some guy answered with a uh, recurrence complex. So I checked it out a little bit and couldn't quite figure it out that fast. But then I went to their IRC and we'll put a link for that down in the description. Uh, you can ask your questions there. The owner, um, Ivorius, is amazing. He just helps you, even if it's like the dumbest question ever, which I had a lot of. So yeah, let's showcase what this can do. Uh, I'm gonna delete the new worlds for now. Won't need them. And I'm gonna create a new world. <laughs> Uh, okay. So what recurrent complex uh, allows you to do is move structures from worlds to another world, which is amazing. Since you could also do, um, yeah, move worlds between computers if you had to. And I'll give you a quick demonstration of how and. And what works? And let's wait for the worlds. Hmm, not finished. That's interesting. Uh, let me do this for t just to be sure. <sighs> uh, like that. So first of all, if you look at recurrence can see there are quite a, quite a few items added by the mod. Uh, I won't be covering all of them, actually I won't only do these two, maybe do a video later on in which I explain the rest, what they do and everything. But for now we are gonna look at the two block selectors and two commands. And I see a structure there, so let's abuse that. Uh, let's take a uh, grass block with us. <coughs> so we have a uh, house here with a witcher in it. And she's gonna stay in it now. <laughs> Just because I said so. Uh, let me destroy that. It could get very annoying. So let's say we want to move this structure somewhere else. So let's take our block selector. Let's right click this block. As you can see, 3, 3, 4, 2, oh, well, 3, but yeah. And then 1, 1, oh, 1. Perfect. And uh, now we want to select another block at this edge. So let's build up here. This high. And now you want to hold shift and right click. As you can see, the an area will get highlighted. And that's the area we're going to export and then import somewhere else. So how do we export? Hit forward slash and type in struct export. Keep in mind that the commands are case sensitive. so. Always use the case, uppercases, yeah. 
and uh, this year will show up. Uh, the only thing I know so far is that we only will edit the name. So let's do that. Uh, which is health. And it doesn't like spacebars, by the way. So don't use spacebars, I want to say. Might be because I'm in. I'm just done. Or, well, whatever. So save that and export the structure to file, which is house. Okay, so now we want to import. Uh, let's say we want to import it right here. So, struct import which is house. And keep in mind, case sensitive. And yeah, right. let me sh first show you the format struct for import is in. So, as you can see, we have struct import, structure name x, y, and z. So, yeah. So, for the x axis, I'm gonna use a squiggly line, which is your current x location. For y, we will use 6. And another squiggly line to, for f to use the current z set location. And hit enter. Enter. Excuse me. So, as you can see, we copy the entire structure, including the witch. Isn't that fun? Uh, if I'm right. Yep, she's still here. Yes, I know. You, you do not interest me either. But yeah, as you can see, we can easily copy uh, structures and move them across worlds. I'll demonstrate that too. It works exactly the same but just to make a point and to prove that it works so cheat on and remember cheats have to be on for this to work you can uh, if you already have a world and you want to use the commands just open up a land world with the cheats enabled and oops super flat create There we go. So ignore all of those, if you will. That's from my uh, single player world. <coughs> so let's type in struct import, which is house, squiggly line, six, squiggly line, enter. And voila. And I am not in creative. When I, one world is set to uh, to the world use world settings, and uh, I can't figure out. And as you can see, here we are with the complete house and the witch. And it's, we'll we'll set her free for now. It's not like she will jump off or anything. But yeah, as you can see, a uh, recurrent complex, amazing mods allows you to uh, transport model blocks, everything. Uh, just keep in mind that um, multi multi parts do not play well, sadly. I wish it really did, but it sadly doesn't. Uh, so keep that in mind with your ME cabling uh, and covers you have set up. So thank you and I hope you enjoyed. Till next time.